Let's look at problem number one. An air track glider attached to a spring oscillates between the 10 centimeter mark and the 60 centimeter mark on the track. The glider completes 10 oscillations in 33 seconds. What are the period, frequency, angular frequency, amplitude, and maximum speed of the glider? One, two, three, four, five things that we have to get. So you have a glider that's going between the 10 centimeter and the 60 centimeter mark. And it completes 10 oscillations in 33 seconds. The first one is we want to find out what the period is. So the period is how long it takes for it to complete one oscillation. So if it's 33 seconds for 10 oscillations, then it's going to be 1 tenth of the 33 seconds. And divide that, 3.3 .3 seconds is going to be our period. The frequency is the inverse of the period. So you, if you have the period, then you can go one over the period to get the frequency. And similarly, if you wanted to know the period, but you knew the frequency, you would just take that reciprocal or the inverse. So one over 3.3 is 0 0.303, 0 0.30. And we have a name for the for the units for the frequency, which is hertz, which is cycles per second. So notice that the seconds are going to come into the denominator. So the first, second, and the next, we want to know what the angular frequency is. And the relationship between the regular frequency and the angular frequency is that the angular frequency, which we usually write with an omega, is 2 pi times the normal frequency. And the reason is that a lot of times you're thinking about this as going around in a circle. And when you complete one cycle, one circle, then you go around two pi radians. So angular frequency is really measuring how many radians per second versus the regular frequency, which is just how many cycles per second. Anyway, so we just multiply by two pi. So this times two times pi, now you have 1.9. Notice the units on here are also radians per second. And then we want, now we want to know the amplitude. The amplitude is going to be, if you imagine the usual way that a wave looks like this, the amplitude is the distance from, from the center to the extreme of the wave. is how big the wave is. And in this case, since we're moving this way and back and forth like that, then this is the center part here. We go to the right, come back, doing this motion. So we want to know what half of this total distance is. 60 minus 10 is 50 centimeters. We divide that by 2 to get the 25 centimeters. Convert that to meters is 0.25 meters. So the amplitude is 0.25 meters. And then the last thing is the maximum speed of the glider. To get this, there might be some formulas that you could find for for the maximum speed of um, a sinusoidal system, so something that's following like a sine wave like this. But if you didn't, then this is what you could do: is you could say, okay, well, this is following this um, simple harmonic motion, which the position can be described by because you could use a cosine, but it's going to be the amplitude times, this could be sine or cosine, the angular frequency times time plus some offset angle. And this is a general equation for, for something that's oscillating. So the, you change the feed depending on um, what angle around the circle you're starting off at. And then omega is telling you how fast you're going to go through the cosine cycle. So this is a position, but if you want to know what the velocity is, well, you take a derivative of this equation. Taking the derivative of this, the omega is going to come out. It's going to be a omega. It's going to be a sine and minus. And same thing. But the important part here is that you realize that sine is maximum, or has a maximum value of 1, or minus 1. 
those are the extremes of sine. And so the absolute, the, the biggest that this number can be is going to be a times w. Might be negative, might be positive, it's going to go back and forth. So a times w is what we want. a is 0.25, and I'm saying w, omega is 1.9. So we multiply 0 0.25 times 1.9, and we get 0 0.475, which is what our answer is for the maximum speed. So that's coming from, it's just the amplitude times the angular frequency, but it ends up coming from these equations. All right, done.